Hey guys, so um, I'm here to do my birthday book haul. I know I mentioned that I got a bunch of gift cards for Amazon and Barnes & Noble for my birthday. And I did go a little crazy and spend them all. But I got some really, really great books that I'm really excited to put on my bookshelves. So let's get started. The first book I got was The Reckoning, which is the third book in the um, Darkest Powers trilogy. And I've never read the first two, um, which are Summoning and Awakening, but I do own them. And I was waiting for a Re Reckoning to come out in paperback to buy it. And also, when I went to Borders for the closeout sale, they had Summoning and Awakening, but they didn't have Reckoning. So I couldn't purchase it then. But now I have it, and I'm really, really excited to finally get to read the series in full. The next two books I've already read um, like a while ago, but I haven't. I never had the first book, and then the other book that I purchased, I don't want to spoil, but um, the other book that I did purchase from the same series I actually misplaced, or I lost, or someone borrowed and never gave it back. But I did have a copy of it, I just, it ran away from me. So, this is The Uglies, and these are the new covers, which I'm not a big fan of, except for the extras cover, if you guys have seen the extra cover, it's gorgeous, but this is The Uglies and this is specials and I have pretties this is the old copies and I have extras so I have those two the next books I purchased are City of Ashes from the Immortal Instruments and I have City of Bones. I purchased it in another Borders book haul that I've already recorded and you guys probably have seen. But I have never read City of Bones yet, but I kind of just wanted the whole series. So they were on my wish list and I had money to spend, so I ended up buying them. So got City of Ashes, City of Glass, and the last one, City of Fallen Angels which I love this cover and I'm kind of glad I have it in hardback. So, it looks gorgeous. The next book I got was one that I've had before and I honestly, I don't know where it went. It kind of just disappeared. One of those other books that just grew feet and ran away. And it is Ink Heart and I really, really loved this book. Uh, there's a glare. But I really, really loved this book. And I had it, and I don't know what happened to it. I think I let my uncle borrow it, and I never got it back. But, um, yeah, and I have Ink Spell, so kind of wanted to own Ink Heart, too. And then I'm going to buy the next one after Ink Spell, eventually. I don't know. The next box, this is a box set, and I'm really excited, because if you guys seen my Borders haul earlier, I... Did show you guys that I purchased this box set, which is the Pretty Little Vi Liars Volume 1. I've never read any of the books yet, but um, this one contained Pretty Liars Flawless, um, Perfect, and Unbelievable. And I haven't read any of them yet, but this is the second volume box set, which is Wicked, and it contains. I have to get them out. Well, first of all, it comes with a little, like, note from Sarah Shepard, and it tells, it says, Hi, Pretty Little Liars fans. I want to extend a huge thank you for being so awesome, embracing the series, reaching out to me on Twitter, Facebook, and posting tons of comments on Pretty Little Liars chat rooms and blogs. As long as you keep reading, I'll keep writing. In fact, there are four more Pretty Little no Liars novels on the way. Started with Twisted, the story unfolds folds a year after Wanted ends, and the girls are keeping a lot of new secrets including a terrible one that's too awful to name. And as for the burning question at the end of Wanted, well, all will be answered in a way you might not expect. I already love Twisted, and I know you will too. Also, look out for my Lion Game series. Emma Paxton faces some serious pearl as she pretends to be her long-lost twin sister. Think you could impersonate someone you've never met? All the while, a killer was hot on your heels? If you love Pretty Little Liars, you will adore the new series. So there's tons of exciting stuff coming up until now. Until then, enjoy this Wicked box set and visit me on Facebook. And then it has her Facebook and follow me on Twitter and it has her Twitter. So, um, and then it just has um, the um, 
the Lion Game covers and then Twisted. So in this box set, it comes with Killer, Heartless, Wanted, and Wicked. And I think that I that was a backwards order. I'm not sure. And then when I was in Barnes and Noble the other day, um, my mom went to a store, a clothing store next to it, um, in my area. And so I went into Barnes and Nobles, and I wasn't gonna buy anything, but, but, I found this. It's the Batman Haunted Night comic book, which is awesome because it has Scarecrow, Mad Hatter, Penguin, Poison Ivy, and the Joker in one and it's kind of the Halloween edition and it's so so excited I'm very excited I love Batman you guys know I love Batman I think you guys know I love Batman but I absolutely love and adore Batman and whenever I do my bookshop tour if you guys want me to do a bookshop tour you guys will see that I'm a little bit Batman crazy so that was the other thing I got from Barnes Noble the next three kind of box sets I guess were purchased from Amazon and I'm so excited to share them with you the first one is The Immortals by Allison Noel, and it comes with, and this was actually a really good deal, I think it was like $12 on Amazon, and it was brand new, it came like all packaged and very nicely packed, and it comes with a poster, like all box sets I think do, poster, which I'm going to add to my little swag box, this is pretty awesome, or maybe I need to get like a, um, a bulletin board so I can hang all this stuff up. And it comes with the first three books, which is Evermore, which I've already read, and I think I reviewed it on Goodreads, because I've read it on my Kindle, and then I was actually going to purchase Blue Moon, but it became, if I was going to buy it on my Kindle, it was $10, and the whole box set cost me 12 so I figured I'd just buy the whole box set. And then I got Blue Moon, which is the second book and Shadowland, which I'm guessing is the third book, which I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty, let me check, I think it's the third book. Actually, it doesn't really say, but I think it is the third book, so it looks really good. I'm really, really, really excited about those. I'm trying to get them back into the box. So I got those, and then, if you guys saw my haul, my previous haul from Borders, I didn't, or Barnes & Noble, I keep saying Borders because I'm so used to it, at shopping at Borders that, okay, but Barnes & Noble, I did purchase um, the first book in this series, but then I found out that you could get the first four books for like $24, so that's $6 a book, so I ended up buying the box set because I did have a couple extra bucks to spend. So this is the Vampire Academy collection, and it comes with... I did get quite a bit of box sets. It comes with first book, The Vampire Academy, Frostbite, which is the second book, I'm guess. Yeah. Yeah, Frostbite's the second book. Shadow Kiss and Blood Promise. So if you guys really are interested in this series, I do recommend purchasing the box set because it is worth the money. And then it also comes with a little book that is it shares like the first chapter of I guess the top books of the year let's see what that. it has a ch chapter of ch nightshade matched the eternal ones with the replacement and Safik. so comes with that and then the last thing that I actually purchased dun 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 it's something I wanted for such a long time and if you guys don't know I really got into this um, through one of my friends who lives in Australia um, and she recommended this series for me so I'm really excited for it because I've never read the books but I've seen the TV show and I really wanted to read the books so I purchased Death Note box set and this was it comes it like has the little flaps right here first of all it has this gorgeous picture on the back and then it opens up like this and it has a whole 13 books. So it comes with the 13 books and then, or the 12 books. I might keep that. So it comes with the 12 books 
And then right here is the how to read guide to Death Note, which pretty much is just like profiles of the characters and you know, it looks really cool. And look at this. That picture is awesome. I'm really excited about this. And yeah, it just kind of ex goes into more depth of what it talks about in the books. So I've never read the books, so I guess I'll find out what's going on. And if you guys are looking for them locally, um, I ended up ordering these online because I don't think they make the box sets anymore. I don't know. I might be wrong. But I know this one was from a seller, so it wasn't like Amazon had it. It came from a seller. And um, I think it came from a seller. Um, I believe they still have them on Amazon. And they retail for... I think 63 online but originally Barnes & Noble has these for 84 but um, Amazon had them for 63 and originally they're 100 so I think I strove a deal there so that's the Death Note box set and it just comes in a gorgeous oh you can't see that gorgeous gorgeous box some more artwork and more artwork and then the last thing that, this actually came in my mailbox, which, oh, no, one more thing, sorry, before the last thing. The la and then this also was from my bar in the Noble, um, haul, I guess, or my shopping days, day, um, if I, this is the sequel to If I Stay, Where She Went, um, I have If I Stay right here. I read it, I think I'm going to reread it, though, just because I want to get into this book, and I don't really remember what If I Stay was completely about but this looks really really good and I wanted this book for quite a while and then the last book it came in this pretty little yellow envelope and I was going to open it on camera but I just couldn't resist I was like I want to know what it is because I wasn't really expecting anything but I won a giveaway from Goodreads and this is Holding Her Breath by Nicole Green and this is her adult novel and she's so nice um, to autograph it, which I was not expecting, but he says, Dear Marina, here, that's the first of all, that's where she autographed it, and she says, Dear Marina, thanks so much for entering my giveaway. I hope you enjoy the book. Best, Nicole Green. And I'm so excited to read this. So, yeah. And another thing that I actually received as a PDF file. I received my summer blog by Jenny. I can't see what it is. Let's see. By Jenny L. LeBray. And she sent it to me as a PDF file, which I won off of NetGalley. So that's going to keep me busy for quite a while. And I still have to do a review on Enthralled, which I. I'm going to probably read next because it comes out on the 20th of September. So I want to get my review out before it comes out. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Oh, and if you guys are interested, this book is, I believe, is already out. So if you guys want to check that out, this is um, Holding Her Breath by Nicole Green. So I hope you guys are having a good day. And I don't think I'm expecting anything else in the mail for a while. Or actually, I think I might be expecting one more thing. I don't know. I kind of lost track. And um, please go subscribe to my vlog channel because there's going to be a haul. I'm waiting upon one more thing that I did order from Amazon, which is so awesome. And I can't wait to get it. So um, hopefully that's going to be coming in in the next couple of days. And then I'll do my um, clothing haul for my vlog channel. And I hope you guys are having a good day. And I'm sorry that this vlog was so, so, so long. And, oh, and tell me if you guys want a bookshop tour because I would love to do one. But I kind of want to know if you guys would be interested in that. So leave a comment below if you guys think I should do a bookshop tour. Okay. Well, I hope you guys are having a good day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.